back to this week's vlog apologies it is in the car you probably can't see me very well because it is hang on getting it out my watch it is 4 35 and it's literally got so dark so early it is so depressing but anyway in today's vlog we are going for a jumping lesson so if you guys have been following me on youtube for quite a while you might have seen that i've joined the riding club about two months ago now and i mentioned that i will be having monthly jumping lessons um up at down farm with tim cheffing so that is where we are going to tonight it is a wednesday evening because he does it every month on a wednesday and you basically get to pick your times obviously so i've picked my time for seven o'clock tonight because if you guys watch my second latest vlog it is a way of my college routine you will know that wednesdays are my longest days because I finish a lot later, which is quite annoying because if it was a Friday when I finish at two, I would be able to take the earlier time slot and everything, but I just generally would not be able to get Dan done and it's an hour journey from here. There's just no way. So the earliest I can get there is seven o'clock, which means it is a very late night. We're probably not gonna get actually home until like half 10 11 o'clock tonight which is not fun whatsoever so it's going to be a very quick intro but i have already had my tea i've had mcdonald's because we always get it before i've got the trailer which is in the back and i've got change i've just got dan in because the weather is horrible today today we was meant to have a yellow warning but that hasn't happened so dan come down so i've literally just shoved him in the stable and then in a minute I will go up there, get him brushed, put his boots on, etc. and get him loaded. This is going to be the first time this year that we're travelling in the dark and coming home in the dark. So for the last two lessons, it has still been daylight when we've gone to them and we've been coming home in the dark. Whereas tonight, it is going to be pitch black loading and coming home tonight. But the good thing is, it is going to be indoor, my lesson. So I'm not worried about the lesson. Um, the lesson the weather at all as long as it stays dry for me to tack up and untack and also i know one of the girls that is going to be in my group because she was in my group last time she has a dun which is a little youngster um they were so good last time but i'm not sure who the other person is I have in the last two lessons you might have heard me mention oh my god that is the weather that we only have three people in a group which i really like i think that is more than enough people to have in a group so that is just perfect and yeah i've got into group which is 60 up to 80 god knows what height we will go up to today it depends what dan's feeling like and how confident i am gonna be although i am feeling very positive the last lesson was so much better than the first lesson I had there. So I'm hoping today there's going to be even more of an improvement than last month. Tim did say to me last month, because of how Dan is, he is going to try and put all of the jumps down so that just poles on ground. And then when I'm warming up, I'm going to trot him and catch him over them. So Dan's been over them all so that when he does start to put the jumps up, Dan will hopefully just jump them and he won't be scared of them because he's already gone over them. Tim did say he doesn't know for definite if that is actually going to work, but we're going to give it a good go and fingers crossed it does. And also I need to remember to trot him into every single jumps because even though he has now been to two lessons and he has seen all of the jumps and things, last time i trotted him into the first jump but then i felt a lot more confident for the second jump so I asked for canter and we had a stop and tim said to me that night don't if you feel confident just keep him in trot in every single jump you jump and then if he's all good with it then when we put the course together you can canter the course so that is what i'm going to be doing tonight every single jump that he should, like gets us to jump i am going to be trotting over it first and then if he is fine with it, which he is going to be, aren't you, Dan? Um, then I will canter over the course. Like I've mentioned in so many vlogs, also on my Instagram, I'm really not bothered about the height. So if we stay small, it's fine. As long as it's successful, Danny's enjoying it and I'm enjoying it. That is the main thing. 
also guys um the last time i rode was saturday it is now wednesday <laughs> i did take him out for two hours on saturday i actually went for a ride with kirsty which was really nice because we haven't gone out for a ride in a little while but i also clipped him on monday and he is normally fine to be fair to him but he's had three days off even though we are in the indoor arena it is still windy and it's cold and he hasn't had his rug off i mean he's got two rugs on right now since he's been clipped so i am expecting him to be a little bit more forward and a little bit more excited but he's got his pelham because as i've mentioned again i feel like i keep saying mentioned in other vlogs um that i now jump danny in a pelham because i just feel like we go so much better because i'm not pulling against him he's not pulling against me I feel like he just goes so much better so from now on i am going to jump him in a pelham um for like jumping lessons and competing etc but yes i'm really looking forward to it i hope you guys enjoy this vlog i'm gonna stop now and get down sorted and things i stupidly forgot to bring his thicker fleece because normally he has his thicker one to be traveled in but i forgot it because it's not up here so dan is gonna have to have is thin fleece on and then i've got a 100 gram stable rug liner that i chuck over the top of him to keep him warm and i also need to make sure that i have the light on in the trailer because it is actually illegal to travel your horse in the darkness when it's dark so guys if you guys go out and have lessons like i do or coming home in the evening make sure make sure the light in your trailer is on because you never know you could get stopped by the police i always make sure on the last two coming home that his lights on but obviously i'll need to make sure that he's got it on before we leave today i've also got lots of carrots and apples for him so fingers crossed he's gonna be a good boy but i've got a feeling he's gonna be and as you guys know i wear my back protector but yeah apart from that there's nothing really to tell you guys so i will update you all once dan's loaded or i'm sure i'll speak to you before that okay guys so i'm sorry i'm blinding poor old dan but sorry boy i'm not gonna shun at him but he's all done as you can see he's got his boots overreach boots on back boots on i've sprayed his foot which will be explained once we're on our way good boy dan that you know yeah he's got two oh my god i haven't done his face he's got two rugs on his fleece underneath this and the rug that he's got on top is just a 100 gram stable rug liner but yeah i need to get that mud off you down i forgot about that okay oh guys last bit oh no now he's got all the shavings flicked in sorry boy i've got him as clean as possible guys i've had my phone torch but yeah i'm just waiting for mum to shine the torch so i can get him loaded and then hopefully we'll be just on time see the lights on in the trailer ready to travel and yeah, look how dark it is. It's crazy. Good boy. Apologies, guys, it's dark, but this is reality. Good boy. And it's going to rain. Good boy, Dan. It's so dark. We haven't done this in a year or so, this time of day. Good boy. Good boy. You'll be able to start to see us in a minute, guys. I hope it doesn't fall off now. Good boy! And uh, that's my granddad's side. Good boy! It's a bit different, isn't it? Get you hooked all in. Good boy. Good boy, just put his safety on. on. Right, I'm going to stop filming, guys, and I'm going to get a little story for Instagram behind the scenes here guys that's him all loaded guys just waiting for his lightweight because obviously if he needs it or whatever at least we've got it and i forgot to bring it and poor dawny's out of the gate i feel so bad for her okay guys we are now on route okay guys so if you follow me on instagram and watch my stories you will already know about this but you might follow me on instagram but not watch my stories which is completely fine it's obviously up to you whether you want to listen to me or not um or you might not follow me on instagram at all if you don't and you would like to my instagram is md equestrian underscore and i do talk on my story and post and you guys get to see a little bit more of behind the scenes of what we get up to but anyway i'm not going to talk about it too much again if you have listened to this of course 
skip forward because you might not want to listen to it again. But if you haven't, basically, last weekend I took Dan out for a hat. He was completely fine. I was actually meeting my friend Becky, who was going up Codden. Like I said, he was fine. Coming on the road and Dan didn't feel right. And I said to Becky, Dan doesn't feel right. What does he look like to you? And she was like, oh no, he looks fine. So I thought what I'll do is I'll go for a trot um, to see how he feels. Because you'll definitely feel if he's lame or not. Which is what I done and Dan was not right. Luckily, there was a cut through to get to Becky's place where she keeps B. Um, and her mum was luckily there and I got her mum to have a look at him because obviously I was worried about And I couldn't think of the life of me what he could have done because it was so strange how he was completely fine and then went lame with me. So we thought maybe he pulled something on the canter because he was quite forward because he kind of lunged into canter. Anyway, Becky's mum had a look at it and noticed there was something different with his frog. All of his other frogs was completely fine and healthy how they're meant to be. This one frog was just not right and she reckoned that was the reason why he was lame. So I took him back home. I didn't know whether to walk him on foot back home or get my mum to get in the trailer. I mean, Becky's is only about 20 minutes away from me but I thought if he's lame I don't expect him to walk back. But Becky's mum said that he will be absolutely fine to ride home. So that's what we've done. When I got home, I told my mum that he wasn't right in things. And I took a photo of his frog because Becky's mum washed out with the hose pipe and everything like that. And no leg was swollen. There was no heat or anything like that. So anyway, fast forwarding on, when I took the photo, I was Googling on Google what could go wrong with a frog because I've never experienced anything what his frog looked like. And I Googled it and this photo come up and it looked identical to his foot and it said that he had thrush. Now obviously I'm no farrier vet so I wasn't 100% sure and I know that Google isn't always right. But I was like right I think it could be thrush. I sent it to Becky to show her mum and her mum said that it looked the same as well. Luckily this was on the Sunday and I had the farrier coming on the Tuesday. So I waited for the farrier to come. Oh, and by the way, on the Monday, I just took him around the village bareback just to see how he was feeling and that. And it was so strange because he was completely fine. He was walking out. I went for like a little tiny trot. He was fine. So then I did it a few times to make sure and he was completely fine. So then I waited till Tuesday until my farrier come out. And I said to him, I think Danny's got fresh. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. He had a look and he said, yes, it is fresh. And I said... I don't understand how he has got thrush because I made sure that he's got no wee and poo in a stable and everything like that and he said it won't be that, it can be caused by that but it's this type of year with it being mild and the ground getting wet and everything like that. So I've been, I've got a hippie scrub it twice a week to keep it clean and then I have Teramycin spray which I spray on him every single day and it's now been just over a week and there is already such an improvement which is just amazing so i'm going to continue spraying his foot dan is completely fine um obviously if he wasn't i wouldn't be coming tonight but he is fine and yeah i sprayed him just before we come and i've also got to keep his feet clean which is fine but i thought i'd update you on that okay guys we are here you'll definitely recognize this from a few of my vlogs and we are on time. We're supposed to be slightly earlier, but we're fine for time, which is good. And I'm definitely gonna be putting on my Equalite once we get there, because it's gonna be so easy to tack up with that on my head and not having to carry around a light or anything. So that will definitely, definitely be going on in a minute. Right, I'm gonna get out, get him tacked up, put my Equalite on, and guys, this lorry here is the one that I put in the last vlog, which I said is literally a colour that I would love my lorry to be if I had a lorry. They're here again, but anyway, yeah, gonna get him out now because I haven't got that much time. I need my Equalite. Can't reach. Here it is, I'm gonna be putting it on. And here we have it. I'm gonna have no problem seeing, probably not the best of look, but I don't care. Okay guys, so I do apologize for the lighting. It does get worse on some 
other videos but here it's not too bad right guys i would have loved to have kept it raw so that you could have actually have listened to tim but my mum's speaking to the other person which i can't share with you guys um so i'm gonna have to put music over the rest so i do apologize if there are some pieces where i can keep it raw i will Red brushes. <laughs> Good boy. Wow, 
guys so you will have obviously already have seen our footage and danny was epic i think you can see how proud i am by my smile because oh my god when i went in there tim was like i can't remember what height we started at with him <laughs> I was like, oh, you normally do it really small. I said, although you did say in the last lesson that you'd put them all down to poles on the floor and see if that helps. And he was like, okay, I'm going to do that now. So he done it. I walked him over it. I'm not sure if that was filmed or anything, but I walked him over it and then I trotted him over it and he was loving it. Like he was proper bouncing over it. Like, oh my God. Anyway, and we was coming around and then he started putting up to like cross poles and little straight bars really really small Dan was just trotting over it like I said before my lesson I said I'm gonna keep him in trot which is what I did do because even though he was game for it and I had no thought thinking he's gonna stop at this or anything he was basically taking me to the jumps I didn't want to ask for canter because that's what happened last time so I kept him in trot he did try to canter with me but I was like no we are staying in trot um and he was just epic he jumped it all and then and near the end I was like Tim was like to me do you want to put the height up and I was like first of all I said yes please and then I thought about it and I thought I haven't even cantered around that small course I feel like I need to canter around it and if it goes well see what happens so I said to him actually can I canter the whole course this height and then see whether to put it up a height or not so that's what he'd done and he absolutely flew around it um so I was like yep yeah. so he only put it up one hole but there was some spreads in there and things um and I don't know if you could see on the video but there was a green jump and it was a spread but it had like a white like planky kind of thing underneath it and the fillers wasn't right underneath but they was right next to it and he didn't bat an eyelid to any of it as you would have seen so he put the height up and Dan was a little bit more I think he got tired because after the small after I counted down the small one the other woman she's got this massive horse he must have been about 17 hands they whacked the height right up for them and then so I was stood there for a good five to ten minutes and then Tim put the height back down for me I did make him work because he had to put all the poles down for me then he kept it small which me and the other girl jumped and then he put it up like two or three holes for this other lady and then he had to put it back down two holes for me so i did make him work but never mind anyway um so yeah he was stood there for a little while and i think i think he thought he finished and he got a little bit lazy so he kind of like stumbled over the first jump but then i brought him back round and my riding was absolutely terrible because i was frightened i was gonna jab him in the mouth but then tim was like to me don't have your reins too too soft so it was kind of hard but it wasn't the most tidiest round but he went round and that is just all I wanted so it was a very very successful lesson I am absolutely buzzing that technique that Tim said definitely worked and from now on at any newer venues that is what I am going to be doing is putting all the poles down to the ground um, and getting him to walk and trot over it Tim said that in the next lesson he's going to do the same to start off with because even though he was fine today we're just going to keep it like that and to be honest I think when I go and hire Coxie I'm going to do the same thing even though he's seen the jumps so many times he shouldn't refuse at them and the last lesson I had with um, Zara he didn't refuse any either but I'm just gonna do it like that because it seems to work for him and as long as it works for him and he's happy then I'm happy but yeah so buzzing I actually think Tim was quite surprised how well Dan was going and I think I've said it in so many vlogs Dan gives me the best feel over a jump that is why I love jumping him because when he jumps it just feels amazing and I think, I'm not the only person that said it, other people have said it as well, Dan has a very nice shape over the jump, which he does, and I just I just love the feel when he goes over a jump. I still didn't jump massive, I reckon not all of them, some of them were smaller, but some of them were probably the um, ox uh, spreads, I reckon they were probably around 65, I don't reckon they were 70, I reckon there's around 65, like I said, not every single one of them, but that is the highest I've jumped since my fall back in 
the summer because with Zara I kept it probably only like 60 and obviously the last two lessons down at Down Farm they've been tiny because we've been having so many refusals so yeah I'm absolutely buzzing last month I said that for this month I just want less refusals like I wasn't even bothered about not having no refusals I just wanted less than what I had last month and we've achieved that by having none that is just amazing we just had some apples and carrots we're now on our way home so I reckon we'll be home by about half nine but I'm not gonna end the vlog here because I feel like I always end it in the car so I will see you when we get back to the stables with little dawn so I'm gonna have to come in because it is pouring it down but we are home it is half past nine and I'm just staying in here because I am drenched. Once um, it calms down out here, I'll put him in the stable, but poor old Dawny's stood outside. I'm showing you Dan because you can't see me, but oh my God, it's horrible and it's so cold and dark. So guys, Dan is all done, changed his rug, put his magnetic boots on. I've done his water this morning, he's got his halid. I've just taken out the poos that they've done today because obviously I'm like that this morning. So yeah, he's complete... Dan, I'm just going to show you Dawny just so she's featured on the vlog because she's now very happy Dan's home. I am so sorry about today's vlog lighting. It is so bad, but there's literally nothing I can do about it. Which is so uh, please make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned because there are some fun and exciting vlogs coming very, very soon. And there might be involved of a competition coming sometime in December. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye. Of course, guys, I said that I'd let you see Dawny before I go. So there she is, nearly finished her dinner. Got her halid as well as hay. Got her water and her bed's all done. You're a happy girlie, especially now Dan the man's home. <laughs>